Now, Karnataka Deputy Chief Minister D.K. Shiv Kumar and Chief Minister Sadar Ramaya have said that we will decide on the release of the water after speaking to the legal team. We have no option but to go with the opinion of the legal team. There is no water to release to Tamil Nadu. Uh, the state uh, will go uh, to the CWRC again. That's the Kaveri Water Regulation uh, Committee. That is the pitch coming in from Karnataka. There is no use to talk to Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin. So that is the pitch that's come in from the Karnataka government. D.K. Shivkumar and Siddharamaya have said we will decide on the release of water after speaking to the legal team. We have no option but to go with the opinion of the legal team. This fight is set to go to the Supreme Court, ladies and gentlemen. There is no water to release to Tamil Nadu. The state, which is the state of Karnataka, will go to the Kaveri Water Regulation Committee again. There is no use to talk to Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin. This comes as the Kaveri Water Regulation Committee on Tuesday recommended that Karnataka release 5,000 cusecs of water every day for the next 15 days to Tamil Nadu. But the Karnataka state government over there saying that there is no water to release to Tamil Nadu, even saying there is no use to talk to Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin. So that is the latest when it comes to the water wars between Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Even though these two parties, the Congress and the DMK, are in the same alliance, you can see that when it comes to these kind of matters, these administrative matters, there is that divide where even after the Kaveri Water Regulation Committee on Tuesday recommended that Karnataka release 5,000 cusecs of water every day for the next 15 days to Tamil Nadu, the pitch coming in from the Karnataka government is that there is no water to release to Tamil Nadu. Also, the Karnataka government has said that we, that there is no use, excuse me, to speak to Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin on this issue. So, the Kaveri water war continues to escalate, ladies and gentlemen, where Siddha Ramaya and D.K. Shiv Kumar, the Karnataka government, have made it clear that there is no water to release to Tamil Nadu, even after the Kaveri Water Regulation Committee on Tuesday recommended that Karnataka release 5,000 cusecs of water every day for the next 15 days to the state of Tamil Nadu. I'm joined by my colleague Harish Opadhyay, who's getting us this piece of breaking news. Harish, give us the details. Well, uh, Karnataka government, uh, at least in this all-party meeting, has uh, decided a few things. One, they will approach the Supreme Court, the River Management Authority and the Regulation Committee, convince them that uh, the situation in Karnataka, especially in the Kaveri Basin area, is, uh, is in a very bad situation. And they will also put out numbers. Uh, they've already said our requirement till next monsoon is 106 TMC feet. The live storage across the four uh, dams built across Kaveri is around 53 uh, TMC feet and there is no way we can release further water. To meet the drinking water needs of Bengaluru and other city in the Kaveri Basin itself will take away 33 TMC feet of water and that's what the state government wants to convince uh, all these authorities that there is no water. Forget a standing crop even for drinking water needs. They want to convince uh, the Supreme Court as well as the, both the authorities, the Regulation com Committee and the Water Management Authority that uh, this order needs to be reversed. Apart from that, uh, they're also seeking time from the Prime Minister to take an all-party delegation to convince him that the Union government should also intervene in this. Uh, he's already written a letter earlier last month. Uh, time hasn't been given by the PMO. He's saying this time around we'll write a second letter uh, seeking time from the Prime Minister's office. Uh, even as all this is going on, remember, the state government still hasn't come out very clearly and said we will not release water. They are saying that decision will be based on what the legal team says because there is a fear that if the state government takes a stance saying that at no cost they will release water, then it could be counterproductive in a legal process and uh, there is a risk of Karnataka government losing the keys for these dams. Uh, right now, it is under Karnataka government. If the Karnataka government doesn't adhere to the orders of uh, the regulatory committee or the management committee, uh, management authority, then there is a risk that uh, the authority will take over these dams, the management of it and the release of water. And that's a fear that the state government has. That's one of the primary reasons why uh, you see either the chief minister or the deputy chief minister not really clearly coming out and saying we will not release water. They are saying we are not in a situation to release water. So they're very careful that uh, their stance today shouldn't jeopardize their legal case that's currently going on.